Hey everybody, I'm here today with a simple driving video on some basic car controls. In this video, I'll be going over some basic car controls that every new driver should know about. If you're an experienced driver, you probably already know about the most, most of these controls, the majority of these controls. Hopefully you know about all of them. But for the most part, as a new driver or a beginner driver, you should start to really learn about these. Let's get right into the video. First and foremost, I wanna go over the pedals. Now the video might just get very, very grainy right now. The quality might go down because it's pretty dark down there. As you can see, there are two pedals right here. This is an automatic car. Now the first pedal over here is the sort of longer one, the taller one, that's the gas pedal. If you push that, that's gonna cause your car to accelerate. This one over here is the brake pedal. This wider one is the brake pedal. It's gonna cause your car to slow down and come to a stop. You have go and stop, basically. In a manual car, you're also gonna have a third pedal, which is gonna be called the clutch pedal, which is gonna be the one all the way to the left, and it's gonna allow you to change gears and start moving the car and so forth. Moving up over here, we actually have the key slot. This is what is used to start and stop the car. Very simple and straightforward. In some vehicles, you're also gonna have a push button start system instead of a key slot. And in some vehicles, you actually have both a key slot and a push button start system. Kind of confusing, I know, but you know what? Hey, it's modern technology. Awesome, awesome benefits. All right, moving forward to the steering wheel. You have a horn right here in the middle. In some cars, you're gonna have a horn on the right side and the left side, but generally, it's gonna be a big button or two smaller buttons, and you're gonna see a little horn icon like that. We have all of the steering wheel controls, but these ones are gonna be unique to this car, and every car that has steering wheel controls is gonna have a very unique perspective of those controls, so I'm not gonna go over those with you. But this is the steering wheel. This is what is used to steer the car right and left. If you turn it clockwise, it's gonna steer right, if you turn it counterclockwise, it's gonna steer left, very simple. If you have it nice and centered, the wheels might be straight, but don't be fooled because I can bring it centered like this and the wheels are to the left. Even though it looks like the wheels are straight, just because the wheel is centered doesn't mean that the wheels are straight, okay? Moving forward, on the left over here, we have a lever. Now this left lever is the turn signal and headlight lever. So you can see we push it down, to activate the left signal, we push it up to activate the right signal. In most modern cars, when you make a certain type of turn, um, the signal will actually deactivate by itself, um, which is a huge plus, but if you wanna deactivate it, you just bring it back to the middle, just nudge it back to the middle. And then we have headlight controls over here, um, which is gonna be very similar on most cars, but you can see it's pretty straightforward. We have off, we have automatic mode, we have the interior lights, and then we have full headlight mode. Um, it's up to you which one you wanna use. I just leave it on auto, keeps it simple. The car pretty much decides for me, but it's very useful to know how it works. Uh, moving on over here, let's lower the steering wheel a bit so we can sort of see this. Uh, actually, it lowered the entire thing. That didn't actually make sense. We'll turn the steering wheel. Over here, we actually have the uh, the windshield wiper knob. So if you pull this in, it's actually going to spray some windshield wiper fluid like that. And then you can control the speed of the windshield wipers by moving it just like this. Very simple. Um, generally speaking, you'll see the controls here. You can see mist, off, auto, low, high. This is the interval, so how often you want um, the windshield wipers to be going um, in automatic mode. You know, um, pretty straightforward for the most part. Moving on over here, what we have are the climate controls. Very simple. You could turn up the air, turn it down, select where you want the air to be going, select the heat or cold, and then you have some options here. You have air conditioning, uh, you have the rear defroster, and then you have the circulation mode. And then we obviously have the uh, radio controls over here, which I'm not gonna go through because they're gonna be unique for each specific car. And that's basically it. And sorry, one last thing, we have the window controls. I'm not gonna open the windows though because it's raining pretty hard, but you have the window controls. Down, up, just like that. And then the mirror controls to control the mirrors. And then obviously you have a lock and unlock button. But these are gonna be very unique to each car once, once again. And that's basically it. In this video, I've gone over some basic driver controls. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.